Alright guys, welcome to another episode of the Urban Garden 2020. So, we are in early spring. It is, what, March 20... Let's see, what is today's date? The 26th of March. So, had to look at the calendar to see the date. But, um, so we're getting ready to start some uh, pepper plants. So, we already have some tomatoes going. But the peppers, you know, usually like warmer weather. So I'm trying something a little different. So usually I'll take uh, my peppers, put them in a paper towel, fold it up, moisten the paper towel. And I started to do that here. And then I was like, eh, so let me try something else. So I saw on, I forget who was doing it, but it was another uh, gardener online. And they were growing a little different type seed. But I uh, figured I would try this. And it's called the Float Tech uh, method and what you do you take a small cup of water so i took this um, cup of water i put it out last night i just ran some uh, tap water in and i let it sit overnight just to let any chlorine evaporate and i have some tabasco seeds here so got some seeds you know they're very pepper seeds are very small so what i will do is just take the seeds drop them in i've already added a couple and i'll put a couple more so you put them in and you just let them float on top. So you don't push them down, you just let them float on top. And the theory is eventually you can take and on the bottom here, you will see little roots start to grow down and the seed, seed itself will remain on top and uh, the root will start growing down and the seed, the top of the seed will still be able to have, have access to oxygen. So then as soon as the seed gets a little sprout on it, you can take it, lift it out uh, carefully, and um, put it in your medium. So your soil or your starter pods or whatever you're putting them in, peat moss or peat pots or whatnot. So it's a little different than the paper towel. I've used the paper towel method a lot. I've done direct sow a lot into a little starter tray. Been successful with both, and this is kind of an in-between because what's happened is I've ha used the paper towel and it's very successful and you can see when the taproot starts to grow down and you know you've got a good taproot and you can put it in soil versus if you put it in soil to start with, you could just kind of look to see, wait and see if a taproot, if you germinate and when it comes up. So um, the problem I've had with paper towels and I've used cotton pads also is that the seed, the root, if you leave it in there a little too long, the root will start to grow into the paper towel or seed. So if you're holding it up to the light and uh, looking for all your seeds to germinate, you know, some will germinate a day or so ahead. Uh, I've had some go as long as three days without um, the last one germinating and then boom it pops and if you go to remove the first ones if you remove them all at the same time those first ones that germinated a lot of times will be growing into the paper towel and those first roots or roots in general are very fragile so they break off easily so I've killed you know several little starters using uh, the paper towel method and the cotton pad so um, rather than direct sow, I'm going to try this with the float tech. So you just place the seeds, let them float on top, you sprinkle them on top, and you don't press them down. So they absorb enough moisture to start, they'll germinate, and I'm going to place them in the cabinet uh, in a kind of dark spot, and it's you know fairly warm in here, so we'll see if these germinate. And when they do, we'll just lift them out and I'll make a second part to the video called Float Tech Part 2. This will be Float Tech Part 1. So, um, trying to think if there's anything else with this. You just use, you can use distilled water, RO water. Um, I don't recommend using uh, any pH bottled water because that could have a negative effect on your roots. But if you just have some plain bottled water that's, you know, a normal pH or tap water is fine. Uh, let it sit overnight just so it kind of dechlorinates all the the chemicals in it in the water uh, evaporate and you're good to go so we're gonna place this in the cabinet and um, see what it happens in a day or two you can also go through if you're just looking to get these started you know you can press them down into the water and then let the roots uh, start but you have to take them out pretty quick because they don't have 
uh, access to oxygen and they can rot, go to root rot a lot faster. So I'm just going to leave these on top, that's the theory, and see what happens. So we'll come back in a day or two, see if um, the seeds have germinated. And everything outside is good. I've repotted the avocado, I've repotted the agave, I repotted a yucca. Um, what else did I repot? Uh, I repotted one of the elephant ear plants and a few other things. So we've uh, been busy. I haven't made many videos this year just because I've been busy with work and a lot of stuff going on and um, some things in my personal life, some ups and downs, and you know how life goes. So anywho, um, hope you guys are having a great week, having a great start to the spring. I hope that weather's nice. We're looking at some property to relocate to possibly in the future. Um, a lot of things going on. I don't know if you know, the car got crashed. They're wanting to total it. I don't think they, there are a lot of issues. So, anywho, just uh, stay safe, be good, get out in the garden, get out in the yard, start doing some things outside, be active, be happy, and stay safe. Later, you guys. Bye-bye.